Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution of problem 1.23 from Mechanical Vibrations by SS Rao 6th edition. And this is the same problem in Mechanical Vibration 5th edition by SS Rao. So the problem 1.23 is at page 124 in 6th edition. And it is page 96 in 5th edition. This question is related to find equivalent spring stiffness and the statement is find the equivalent spring constant and equivalent mass. So both equivalent spring constant and equivalent mass of system shown in figure 1.79 with reference to theta. It means that uh, <coughs> coordinate system here, translational coordinate system that is not required but rotational theta is required so equivalent mass in terms of j is required assume that the bars a o b and c d are rigid with negligible mass so bars are rigid and their mass is negligible so for this problem so, uh, that m2 is linked with a bar and then which is attached to another mass which is submerged in a liquid up to a depth y and the cross-sectional diameter area of cross-section or the diameter of the area of cross-section which is a circular that is d so first i'm going to explain that how to find equivalent stiffness spring stiffness of the liquid with density Rho. So for equivalent spring stiffness due to buoyancy force in a liquid having density, so buoyant force is Fb which is equal to Rho G and V. V is the volume of object which is submerged in the liquid and the volume of that mass M is A times the area of cross section and it is submerged up to height Y. So then that is a buoyant force. The restoring force due to gravity, due to buoyancy, I am going to assume that K equivalent into Y. So where K equivalent is, a sub, that is equivalent spring stiffness due to buoyancy force. So let's say that is K equivalent. And then that is, so by uh, equaling or by comparing buoyancy, buoyant force with restoring force it is rho g a y is equal to k equivalent y so k equivalent comes as rho g a so i am going to assume here that as k4 so that is k4 here is the spring stiffness due to buoyancy which is rho g a so A here is area of cross section which is equal to pi by 4 d squared. The next one need to draw a free body diagram for a small angular displacement of theta and assuming that theta is small in radian. So theta is small so sine theta is nearly equal to theta and cosine theta is nearly equal to 1. So this problem first I'm going to solve uh, draw its free body diagram. So before drawing its free body diagram these k1 and k2 they are connected in series. So their equivalent spring stiffness I am going to assume here as k23. Now the free body diagram like as when some rotation is given to the bar so k1 and k2 they are being stretched or extended so they will apply a downward force which is i am going to name that as here let's say the force which is that is f2 f2 3 let's say and then similarly this one is being stretched or extended so it will apply a downward force of k1 and then m2 and m they are rigidly connected so when they are rigidly connected so these two masses are considered as a single mass and again the buoyancy force 
or equivalent spring stiffness they try to resist so when it's try to resist so then here the force another resisting force restoring force which is k f4 is being f4 is being applied here sorry that is f1 okay so f1 is equal to k1 x1 then f23 is k23 into here i can say that x2 and then f4 in the same way so it will have a dis distance or displacement of x4 so for simplicity or avoid confusion i'm going for f2 instead of f23 so now equivalent spring stiffness of k2 and k3 for series combination of springs 1 over k equivalent is equal to 1 over k1 plus k2 plus 1 over k3 so because there are only two springs k2 and k3 here so 1 over k equivalent is 1 over k2 plus 1 over k3 so by making denominator same it will become k3 plus k2 over k2 into k3 so then equivalent spring stiffness for 2 and 3 that will come as k2 3 times divided by k2 plus k3 so that is equivalent spring stiffness for both of these springs to find equivalent spring constant using equivalence of elastic potential energies and elastic potential energy for linear spring is half k x squared and for this translational spring it is half k t theta squared so for for k1 it is ha half k1 x1 squared and for k2 and k3 it is half k2 3 and displacement is x2 and for this equivalent damp uh, equivalent stiffness for buoyant due to the buoyancy force it is half k4 x4 squared and then this kt for uh, uh, torsional spring it is simple half kt theta squared and it is equal to half k equivalent theta squared so because we need to get final answer in terms of uh, rotational coordinate system so then need to convert that x1 x2 and x4 into theta and s is equal to r theta can be used here and using that x is equal to r theta x1 will be l1 into theta then x2 will be l2 into theta and then x4 will be equal to l3 into theta so simply although uh, according to s is equal to r theta so that is curve but we are assuming that angle theta is small and for if the angle theta is small so then that curve will become equal to chord for small angles theta so now by substituting the values of x1 x2 and x3 so that equation become and in this equation theta square and half and theta square that is a common fact uh, common factor in all that and it can be cancelled or otherwise by taking half and theta square common factor so and then it can be cancelled on the other side so by taking half theta square common factor and cancelling so k equivalent will become k1 l1 squared plus k2 3 l2 square plus k4 l3 squared plus kt so finally k equivalent by substituting the value of k2 3 which is k2 into k3 divided by k2 plus k3 and then k4 which is rho g a and a is pi by 4 d squared so then pi by 4 d square rho g into l3 squared plus kt so that is equivalent spring stiffness or equivalent spring constant of whole system now to find equivalent mass uh, using equivalence of kinetic energy so the kinetic energy is half m x dot square or half j theta dot square so equivalence of kinetic energies that can be used to find equivalent mass so in this case it is going to go like 
हाफ जे केवलेंट दैट इज एक्वलेंट रोटेशनल मैस थीटा डॉट स्केयर इज टू हाफ एम वन एक्स वन डॉट स्केयर प्लस हाफ एम टू प्लस एम सो एम टू प्लस एम आर कनेक्टेड थ्रू अ रिजिट बार सो दे कैन बी सिंपली एडेड सो एक्स डॉट फोर स्क्वेयर नाउ ऑलरेडी वी हैव एक्स वन एज एल वन थीटा सो बाय डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग बोथ साइड इट विल बिकम एक्स वन डॉट इज इक्वल टू एल वन थीटा डॉट एंड सिमिलरली एक्स फोर इज इक्वल टू एल थ्री थीटा हेयर एंड बाय टेकिंग डेरिवेटिव ऑफ बोथ साइड सो दैट आर द एक्सप्रेस ऑफ वेलासिटीज फॉर मैथ्स एम वन एंड दैट इज द वेलासिटी फॉर कम्बाइंड मैथ्स एम टू एंड एम सो दैन दीज वैल्यूज कैन बी सब्सिट्यूटेड इन टू द एक्सप्रेस प्रीवियस इक्वेशन so it will become half m1 l1 squared into theta dot square plus in place of x4 it is going to be l3 theta dot now half and theta square theta dot square uh, can be taken common factor from from right hand side and then it can be cancelled with left hand side so j equivalent comes as m1 l1 squared plus m2 plus m which is a combined mass of that m2 and m and then times l3 squared so that is equivalent rotational mass so that is all about solution to this problem thank you very much for watching